As a farmer, one of your goals every year is likely to cut costs or just to spend as little as possible and yet get as much yield as possible. Well, one of the things that you can manage every single year is nitrogen in your cornfields. Well, how are you going to do that accurately? Well, one of the ways is getting a pre dress nitrate test. We're going to talk about that today. When it comes to growing lots of bushels of corn, one of the most important things is getting your nitrogen just right. You don't want to have too much, yet you don't want to have too little. Now, when I say you don't want to have too much, a lot of guys would say, wait a second, what are you talking about? I'd rather err on the side of having a little too much than not having enough. I understand that thinking because a lot of the research that we've seen over the last generation has been don't run short on nitrogen, you're going to lose yield if you run short. So guys tend to have a little bit too much. Here's the challenge though, environmental regulations. When we look at different issues that are happening across the country, one of the biggest concerns that municipalities have had is, well, there's too much nitrate in the water. The drinking water standard in our country is 10 parts per million of nitrate in the water. So if there's ever a time where it's over 10 parts per million, well, people get really nervous about that. Well, guess what? There's a lot of ways that nitrate get into water, uh, but farmers are a small part of the population and control a large share of the land. And so we're a pretty easy target. We get a big target on our back if we don't manage this nitrogen thing right. So when we look at in-season management, the pre side dress nitrate test is a great tool and it's very inexpensive to use. Before you use that though, we'd really like to see what your soil test says. Can you handle as much nitrogen as you want to put out this spring or at any time during the year? Look at your cation exchange capacity, multiply that times 10. That'll tell you roughly how much nitrogen your soil can hold at any one time. In addition to that, take a look at your organic matter levels. It all depends on where you're at in the country and your amount of heat and everything. But on our farm, we're typically figuring 20 pounds of nitrogen that we get for free every year per each percent of organic matter. So if we had 5% organic matter, 5 times 20 is 100. So if we've got 100 that's going to come available through the organic matter, let's say we started the season with 50, well that's already 150 pounds. What I'm trying to say here is, in a lot of cases, it's pretty easy to overdo it on nitrogen if you don't factor in what you already have in the soil and the organic matter that's coming available uh, through that mineralization process. So to get a better idea of what you actually need at the time, that's where we talk about this pre dress nitrate test. And it's really pretty simple. You can sample 0 to 12 inches, or in a lot of cases, people also sample 12 to 24 inches, and then just send that in. It's only roughly a $5 test, and then at least you have an idea, well, how much nitrate is in the soil right now, today? Okay, just three quick points on what will happen if you overdo the nitrogen in your field. Number one, you wasted money. That's obvious, right? You wasted money. Number two, the environmental thing that I already talked about. It's not good for the environment to, to waste something because nitrate will leach down through your soil and could end up in groundwater. But the third thing is one that a lot of people don't think of, nutrient balance. What I'm talking about here specifically is lodging. Now, if you've ever seen corn go down, why does corn fall down? You may say, well, big winds or I ran short of potassium. Well, maybe you ran short of potassium, maybe you had so much nitrogen out there that your crop was just growing too much and focused on, I'm going to get real big and tall and never really got that good stable stock underneath it. We see it a lot of times in small grains. If you overdo nitrogen, you have lodging all over the place in your fields. It's the same in corn. If we way overdo the end and we don't have the potassium to match, we're going to see some lodging and other issues in the field. And that could also include a greater susceptibility to some of the real common diseases like gray leaf spot or northern corn leaf blight. So before you make your late season nitrogen applications, we really encourage you pull pre side dress nitrate tests. Now certainly you can also use Farmer's Edge or Climate or some of these other services that will monitor your fields and give you a general understanding of how much nitrogen is left out there too. But if you want to double check some of those things also, you can pull at least a few pre side dress nitrate tests. Again, they're inexpensive. They're going to really help you fine tune your overall nitrogen management program. Managing nitrogen is really important and managing weeds is as well. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? <music>